Hey, how's it going guys? In this tutorial, we are going to write a Python program to migrate videos from a YouTube playlist to another playlist. So the idea actually came from when I was recently organizing some of my playlists. And I noticed that for, uh, for the playlists that belong to other channels, for example, here have a playlist called Machine Learning Recipes with Josh Gordon. Despite that, I added this playlist to my channel. Essentially, this playlist still belongs to Google Developers Channel. Unlike my own playlist, here let me go to one of my own playlists. Unlike my own playlist, I can reorder the videos, or I can add or remove different videos to this playlist, or I can collaborate uh, with some other people to add or remove videos uh, to this playlist and few other benefits. So that gives me the idea that why not just to uh, add all the videos individually to my to my own playlist. So here have a random videos playlist that I want to use for demonstration. Which means if I add all these videos to my own playlist, so which is this random videos playlist, that means I can add or remove videos. I can organize the videos. And if I want to, I can add additional videos from other playlists. So in this video, we're going to write a Python program to use YouTube's API to migrate all the videos from this playlist to uh, this random videos playlist. All right, so before we begin, uh, make sure that you install the Google client library, as well as download the JSON client file to your local drive. And if this is the first time you're using Google API, then you can watch my video, how to set up your first Google project and how to download your client file. And there are other things you will need. So you will also need to download this uh, google.py module. And the source code is in the link in the description below. And once everything is settled, we can uh, start writing our Python program. So here let me increase the font size to 22. All right. So here the first thing I want to do is I want to import my create service function from my Google module. So I'll type from Google import create service function. Next, we want to create the U2 API service instance. So here I'll name the service object service. I'll insert the create service function. Oh, and I forgot to create my variables to uh, store the information required to create the U2 API service instance. So we need to provide the client secret file or client file. And let me go to my local drive and here's my client secret file. So I just want to copy paste the client secret file path. I also need to provide the API name and the name is YouTube, uh, the version number, so V3. Uh, version 3 is the latest uh, version and the scopes for the scopes so we can so if you are wondering what scopes to use so you can just search for YouTube API scopes it should be the first result so let's go into the link and if we navigate toward the bottom here let me increase the font size and here's our scopes we can use. And I'll use the first scope, so which allows the program to manage a user's YouTube account. And we're going to create a list, and we'll pass the uh, scope name. Now we can create our service instance. I'll provide a client secret file, API name, API version, and scopes. And here, let me move this to the left a little bit. All right. The next thing we need is we need to grab the playlist ID. The random videos playlist is going to be my target. So I'm going to create a variable to store the target playlist ID. And I'll name this playlist playlist ID underscore target. And I'm going to create another variable. I'm going to name this variable playlist ID underscore source. 
and I'll grab the playlist ID from the machine learning recipes uh, playlist. And that's all the preparation we need. Now we can start making an API call. In here, I'll insert my service object dot playlist items dot list. So we're going to list all the videos uh, on the from the machine learning recipes with Josh Gordon uh, playlist first. And if I'm wondering um, what parameters is available, so let's go back to the uh, YouTube playlist, YouTube playlist API. And distribute API. And the playlist resources fell on the YouTube uh, data API category. And if you go to playlist items, not playlist, playlist items, and go to list. And here are some of the parameters you can provide. Let's go back. So I want to list out all the videos from uh, from the source playlist. And let me go back to the documentation. For the parts parameter, I want to use content details, uh, which gives me the video ID information. So within the list parameter for the parts, I'm going to type content details. And also need to provide the playlist ID. And it's going to be playlist ID source. For the max results, so the max result parameter uh, allows you to specify how many results per page. And the maximum is 50 results. And if your result number exceeds the max result you specified, then the output is going to return a next page token ID. So here I'm going to uh, store the output to a response object. And I'm going to change the max results uh, value to five. I'm also going to show you how to retrieve next batches results as well. And that's all we need. So that execute. And here I'm going to store my items, my video uh, items to an object called playlist items. This equals to response. And we're going to reference the reference the items key. And we're going to grab the next page token. If the token is available. So here I'm going to use the gets method. And I'm going to pass, I'm going to type next page token reference. So the idea is that if the next page token value is none, then we know that there's no additional items we need to uh, retrieve. So we can insert a while loop. So I'm going to say that while next page token is is not none. Then I want to grab the next batch of items. So I'll grab uh, this code block and I'm going to just copy and paste. And except that here I'm going to pass the next page token variable to the page token parameter. And I'll copy these two lines and I'll just copy and paste. Now if I highlight the code I want to execute and it's run. Oh, uh, here, let me, so let me terminate uh, this session. So I forgot to do one more thing. So here, let me delete my YouTube token file. So I want to show you from the beginning process. All right, let me try again and execute. A login page will, uh, will basically pop up. It's going to ask you to select the accounts you want to uh, give permission to. So I'm going to choose my main account. And within my main account, I have two YouTube accounts. I'm going to choose my other YouTube account. And if you see this page, click on events and just click on this link to proceed. 
and click on allow to get permission to the uh, to the app. And once you see the message, the authentication flow has complete. You may close this window and close this window. Now, if I print the playlist items object, and this is going to return a list, and within this list, uh, so if I use the len function to get the uh, record count, and this is going to gives me five. Should uh, that shouldn't be? Oh, okay. So here I made a mistake. So we should extend the playlist now to reassign the playlist. Let me run the highlight code again. And now if I use the len function to get the record count, and this time it gives me 10. And 10 means from the source playlist, there are 10 videos. So 10 videos. Now we have all the videos information stored in our playlist items object. All we need to do now is to iterate each video within the playlist items object and to provide the Require information to add a video to, uh, to my random videos playlist. So here I'm going to insert a loop. I'm going to say that for video in playlist items. Let's go back to the documentation. For the insert method, we can use this list of scopes and the parameter requires parts and and request body so this is the the part where people get pretty confused because from the documentation it didn't give a really good example on how to insert a video or modify a video in fashion so here i can insert a loop for video in for video in playlist items i'm going to create my request body i need to provide the snippet property Within the snippet property, we need to provide the playlist ID. And it's going to be playlist target. And we need to provide the source ID. The source ID is asking uh, the video information. We need to uh, provide the kind property to indicating want to insert a video. So the key is U2 hash video and here we can provide the video id so from the video object want to reference the content reference followed by the video id and we can uh, insert the video to our playlist so service dot playlist items dot insert and for the parts we can provide snippet and for the body we'll provide the request body object that execute and that's it now if i save and run the script here let me just double check that uh, if i refresh and the random videos playlist is empty now if i run the script oops here let me terminate the session if I press F5 to run the to run the script, okay. So that seems to do the work. Now let me press F5 to refresh the page. Now uh, the API in the background is slowly adding all the videos. And here are the ten videos from the machine learning recipes which are scored in which you add to my playlist. So this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, see you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.